Time for a check on our Wednesday forecast. Michelle joining us now with more on a, uh, well, it's a chilly start to our Wednesday. Yeah, cooler temperatures than what we've been seeing, Patrick, at least with temperatures uh, into the 40s, many areas. Let's start off a live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Skies are dry again this morning if you're uh, headed out and about and expecting that to stay. The case as we go throughout the daytime today, in fact, that's leading the weather headlines for what we're tracking this morning. It is a, another dry day. We're going to see a combination of sunshine and high clouds. It'll be on the uh, breezy side at times and a northeast wind going to keep us a little bit cooler. We're tracking a coastal storm, one that's right now impacting the southeast and the mid-Atlantic. It'll start to drift to the north, so showers and fog arriving uh, maybe by the end of the day tomorrow and lingering into at least Friday for the Columbus Day weekend. We're going to still have to monitor that that coastal storm. It looks like it'll be far enough south to keep the rain away. However, there'll be a lot of extra clouds. Uh, if that storm were to stay a little bit further north, of course, we'd have to add some showers into the forecast for the weekend, but right now uh, keeping it mostly dry. Live city cam over Providence this morning. We've got temperatures in the uh, upper 40s, but at 45, Newport 52, and New Bedford right now 45 degrees under mostly clear skies. Now we do have high clouds that we're already tracking on satellite and radar. Uh, you can see those streaming up over our ridge of high pressure, that H that you see on the weather map, keeping us dry for another day. The rain that I'm tracking, I have to widen out the view just a little bit to see it here. You can see uh, showers along the North Carolina and Virginia coast. Line. This is what's going to be drifting to the north in the coming days. In fact, our future cast can track all of that for you. And we'll start it off this morning at around 7 o'clock. So here we go with those high clouds streaming in. Again, still partly to mostly sunny through the afternoon hours. This is at 2 o'clock. Later on in the evening and night, turning partly to at times mostly cloudy. And we wake up to that extra cloudiness on Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, so notice the shower is starting to push in towards the coastline, but it takes all day for them to move in. So this is 7 o'clock in the evening, some showers, some light rain along the coast, and again, expecting that to move further to the north as we head into the nighttime hours on Thursday. So that means much of Thursday looks to be rain free. About 64 on the east side, 65 this afternoon, downtown North Providence in the middle 60s. So again, a partly to mostly sunny day on the way. Another nice one, not quite as warm as yesterday. But Riverside at 64, Garden City at 65, TF Green coming in in the low to mid 60s. South Coast for today, you're going to be at about 63. Hope Valley at 65, a little bit cooler, partly sunny at the shore, mostly sunny Inland, 63 Burrowville, about 64 Situate, Johnston at 64, and southeastern Massachusetts highs in the low to mid 60s. I have Plymouth at about 62. You're going to get those winds off the water with a northeast wind at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Seven day future cast. So low and mid 60s today, tomorrow, high near 65 degrees. Friday, I do have uh, showers in the forecast. It'll be uh, just light pockets of drizzle and mist. And we may start off with a little bit of that drizzle uh, up in Boston. Saturday morning. Now the Sox haven't announced game time yet for the playoff game up at Fenway on Saturday, but it looks mostly cloudy through the day and the temperatures in Boston probably topping out around 60 degrees. A sudden day near 66, mostly cloudy if you're headed up to the Woonsocket Autumn Fest. Temperatures in the morning in the middle 50s and then climbing our way up into the low 60s in Woonsocket under uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Columbus Day Monday looks mostly cloudy as well. You can get the updated future cast on our